Dr Bendigo. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Oh, the NBN and the way in which this government has spectacularly failed to roll out the NBN, particularly to regional Victoria and particularly to my constituents in the Bendigo electorate. And the Prime Minister really needs to wear how he has failed. Uh, he, when he was the opposition communications minister, uh, did turn up uh, in Bendigo when he was the shadow minister for communications, and he promised uh, the B Bendigo, the Bendigo Chamber of Commerce, he promised them that we across the Bendigo electorate would have the MBN sooner, faster and cheaper. Well, on all three promises, this Prime Minister failed, first as the communications minister, then as the Prime Minister. And his, in his arrogance to even listen to the people in the bush, to engage with the people in the bush and learn from the experiences so we can fix the rest of the rollout going forward. It is so disappointing that we continue to have delays in the rollout and we continue to have problems with the NBN rollout. Just to give people in the chamber a bit of a, a background about the diversity of the NBN experiences in my electorate, the Bendigo electorate, and why, why Labor supports some of these reforms, but we do want to see others heavily scrutinised. Uh, we have quite a significant fixed rollout. Um, uh, fixed wireless network in the Bendigo area. In the south of the electorate, we have a number of towers. In the north of the electorate, we have a number of towers. Um, but these towers they are, are not keeping up with the growth of Bendigo. Um, so bad was the rollout under this government that early on in the piece, uh, Julia Gillard was the Prime Minister at the time when towers were built in the north around Huntley and around Juniton, um, but these towers were not switched on until the 2016 election. Uh, people would try to access, the retailers would sell them a product, then they tried to connect, no connection. No connection whatsoever, weren't able to connect. It was only after it was made an election issue did these towers get switched on. But it was a short-term fix and the service is very slow. Why is the service slow? Because Mount Camel, which was a tower that was um, due to be built in uh, Heathcote, was never built. So the government is trying to link nine relay towers to one tower in Bendigo South. So the further you are, from the tower in Bendigo South, the slower your service is. And we have been inundated with complaints with people from around Huntley, from around Juniton, who have low um, and slow, inferior service through the fixed wireless network. One, one particular um, resident, and I shouldn't laugh, but he laughed with me about this, actually has a tower. He hosts a tower. It's on his property. But he can't get access to the fixed wireless services when it's on his property. And just so that people understand how close I'm talking about, Huntley, Juniton, these are suburbs of Bendigo. These are places which are five kilometres from the CBD of Bendigo. I cannot believe that this government is still saying to businesses and households less than five kilometres from Bendigo, we are the second biggest regional city in Victoria, that you have to cop slow fixed wireless services or worse, compete with farmers, compete with really remote Australia, regional Australia for SkyMaster. It's unbelievable that the government is still not listening to people in the regions. It would just make sense to roll out more fibre to the curb, fibre to the premises in places like Bendigo. The more customers on the fibre network, the less customers that you have on the fixed wireless or on the SkyMaster. Now, I do want to take an opportunity during this debate to raise a couple of other examples, because I know when I stand up and raise examples in this place, NBNCO actually is listening. So I do want to take the opportunity for them to. I'm going to log a few service calls and I hope that NBN is listening and they'll actually act on a few of these. When I've had the chance to raise questions in Parliament, when I've had the chance to raise issues in this floor, that's how you seem to get a reaction out of NBNCO and that's definitely how you get a reaction out of the Minister's office. So this one will be of interest to people. La Trobe University. We are trying to be a university city. So in the, um, 
in the suburb of Flora Hill, there's this entire black spot where they're just told they, they've got no allocation of any kind of NBN at all. It starts at the edge of the university, can you believe it? Runs through Flora Hill, takes in a couple of streets. There's no node to be built, there's no access to fixed wireless, and there's no access to satellite. It's where people studying at the university live. It takes in part of Keck Street. It takes in part of Curtin Street. It go, runs all the way down to Somerville Street. It's right next to this black spot next to Bendigo Southeast College. If there was ever a place in Bendigo that needed access to fibre to the premises, to fast internet, it's right near the university. But yet, it is in the too hard basket for this government and sitting to the side.